lights out and accelerating away from the field. Here we go. Lights out on the safety car. A couple of corners left. They'll start to form up now. The pole man, Shane Van Gisbergen, on the inside. The last two races, he has taken the, uh, the right-hand side of the track, yeah, moved left right over, and they've split. This oh, time oh, round, oh, he's changed it. He's decided, I'm going to mix it. No, the snake moves over. And everyone is obliged to follow the two guys in front of the queue. So one down the right, one down the left. And they're approaching at that speed somewhere between 50 and 60k. It's being checked. They'll enter the AZ zone very shortly. And then Shane Van Gisbergen will have control. They're in there now. He's gone. The gear's on the gas. And away we go in the V8 supercars. Coulthard trying to shut the door on Craig Lowndes. Down into turn one for the first time. The Norton Hornets. Caruso looking up the inside as well. Look out McLaughlin. wide. McLaughlin holds it. They all stream through again, which is fantastic to see. No real issues through turn one. McLaughlin got round the outside of Lowndes. That's a big one. Down the outside, we'll see Lowndes try and get an overlap. He's not close enough. Wincup's going to benefit from this one, potentially. Lockwood Racing entry looks strong as well for Fabian Coulthard. Can Van Gisbergen bolt in the same manner that he's done on a couple of occasions here at, uh, at Albert Park? He was strong in race one. He was, but he's also been uh, had a, a bit of a setup, probably a tyre pressure thing where he's looked to have his car come on later and look after those tyres. So every race so far we've seen him lead from the start. He's had a bit of an issue early on in those laps. And we see McLaughlin having a look down the inside of Coulthard early on, trying to maximise the opportunity while the tyres are still coming up to temperature. And a young Kiwi, look at him working hard. Hustling, oh. look at Coulthard, terrific stuff. He knows he's got to get it done now. He wants to get it done early. And Gisbergen, he's having to defend, using a lot of the road as they stream through, through the quick change of direction. 11, 12, and he's still on it. Look at Coulthard. He's going to look down the inside. This could be an opportunity for McLaughlin as Lowndes is looking to. Big oh, knock he's, up to he's not going to make this corner. Somehow he held it. I am wrong. So the corner, it's on, look at Lowndes up the inside of McLaughlin, he's still on the outside of Van Gisbergen, he's going to have the inside for 14. What shape that's front, is that front left tyre going to be in? Wow, Good that recovery. is going to be a problem. They are too impressed. Great recovery, and they need... McLaughlin is getting on Lowndes, gets a touch. They need to boost some good news at Brad Jones Racing after that rebuild of the Team BOC entry. The dramas for Dale Wood. Wow. Coulthard leads the way. Four wide. Look at them there. This is unreal. And look at Moffat down the inside. He's inside Tanda. Tanda goes a bit wide. Caruso. Man, this is on. Winterbottom in car now. And look at the wheel work going on as they're getting touched up all the way through this first lap. Hello. Absolutely phenomenal. We've got a championship round in... <laughs> Not very long at all. And the Volvo has got round Gisbergen also. He's in second spot. Wide. Reynolds wide. Great work by McLaughlin. So the two Kiwis battling there. And look at Ben Gisbergen. He's finding it. The pressure, feeling the pressure there from Lowndes and Wincup. We might see a replay at some stage of how the Volvo got round Gisbergen, but how wrong was I into 13 that time when Fabian Coulthard Look locked up the right, uh, left front really quite substantially. I, don't, I didn't think there was any way he was going to make the corner rusty, but what a drop, what a job to get round. Good save. Remember, double points here too for this race. Action of plenty, the two Red Bull racing cars there, line astern. They are still looking for a way past Van Gisbergen and Lowndes. Looks down the inside. I think he's got an overlap. He's on the grass. He has got an overlap here on Gisbergen, so he's going to make a move too. Did not expect Shane Van Gisbergen to be in such trouble early on in this race. Well, this Maybe they've made a setup change or something to this car. I'm not sure. Here's a replay of the start. Caruso. Off to the left, one of the Jack Daniels racing entries, and of course Coulthard very quick to move across, sensing the threat, or knowing the threat from Red Bull Racing Australia. James Moffat, a superb start too, to get around his teammate, who's been ahead of him, been ahead of him all weekend. But that was critical there, with McLaughlin getting past Craig Lowndes, and here's the action, you watch the right, uh, left front there. there 
I just did not think there was any way he was going to make the corner. He gets around the outside. Gisbergen into the door of the Brad Joan Racing Guard. McLaughlin looking down the inside into four. He's going to get it done. What a move by the young Kiwi on the other Kiwi to take the lead of this fourth race. Has that thing got some speed, Rusty? Well, why don't we find out from the team boss? He's on the line, Gary Rogers. How's the heart rate? This is great for Volvo, leading the way at Albert Park. Yeah, we're going all right, boys. We're sort of uh, just taking a little bit of the time. You've got to say, that wasn't a bad move. Uh, Gary, phenomenal move. Obviously, had a little bit of issue yesterday with one of the tyres, which slowed him up. But, man, this kid, he's on fire. Oh, he's one of your brothers, mate. 